Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with the income journey and today's video we're going to be taking a look at a print on demand store that is doing about 100,000 page views per month using customized products. This one is a little bit different than the normal stores that we would look at that are very kind of generic designs. This is very personalized. I believe that this person has set it up in a very interesting way that would lead to a much higher conversion rate on the store. So we're going to look at the tactics behind that and see if you could maybe implement something like that in your store. So yeah, let's go ahead, jump in. If you do enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And let's take a look at this store. So this store right here is called pettoonies.com and I'm sure you can guess exactly what these guys do. They go ahead, they take a photo that the customer sends in and they turn it into a cartoon. Nothing crazy, we've seen that done before on lots of different stores. It's a model that works very well in a few different niches. Obviously pets are one of the biggest ones. You see a lot of really good stores out there, absolutely crushing it, doing millions and millions of dollars with this model of turning photos into prints, canvases, or some sort of kind of interesting design. It could be watercolor, it could be, you know, turned into a cartoon like this or whatever. But let's take a look at this store and see why I think they stand out a little bit from the crowd and how they've been able to go ahead and really crush it. So first up, let's go ahead and talk about the interesting model that I think this store has implemented. So as you can see here on the homepage, it says, Hola, my name is Irene and I turn your pets into cartoons. So the kind of angle the store is taking, and I could be completely off base with this, and it could just be a single person running the store, but I think they've created this persona of Irene. I don't think that is a real person. Again, I could be completely wrong if you're watching this, Irene. Please comment down below. I'd love to have you on the channel. You've created a really awesome store. But what I think has been done here is they've created this persona of a person on the site who creates the designs. Whereas I think they actually have a large team of designers working in the background creating these. I just don't think that one person could fulfill these designs the way that they're being made. I think having that persona there, it gives a lot more trust on your site. People are, you know, more likely to go ahead and purchase from Irene over here, who's just running her little side business, creating these images. It feels good to support a smaller business rather than some big enterprise. So I think it's a really nice angle to take, even if you do have a massive team behind it. I think it's an interesting one that would convey I think it's an interesting model that would increase conversion rates. But as I said, I don't think that it is one single person. For example, if we take a look here, you know, maybe whenever the store started, maybe it was just her, but I think there's been people hired. There's an unlikely chance that if she's getting, you know, 80,000 visitors a month here, 50,000, consistently doing over 50,000 visitors per month, that she is able to create all of them designs, especially because the artwork is just so damn good. I also don't believe that this store is using some sort of Photoshop trick to create the drawings. I think the drawings are actually created from scratch because if we go in and we take a look, uh, sign digital artwork and canvas. I don't think that this is some sort of Photoshop artwork. It's probably drawn in Photoshop, but I don't think it's just, a, oh, load the photo in, do some commands, and then it changes into a cartoon. Because if we look here, this one is a photo of this dog, like lying here, lying down. If you change that into a cartoon in Photoshop, it would be in the same angle, it would be the same dog. Whereas here, we've got it eating spaghetti at a table. It's very interesting, right? Here, this one, this one does look like it could possibly be that. But again, the drawing style just looks a lot different. Right here, this one, obviously not the same. We've got a photo here of the dog and then the little dog below it, but they've made this and drew this really cute one of the little dog on top. So I think it's definitely an artist going out there and creating these. So how could you implement this in your business? Well, obviously you're gonna have to hire artists or be an artist yourself. I think having this where they're doing really different pictures, it really lets this store stand out from the crowd. It lets them stand out from all the other stores who are just doing the simple Photoshop changes. These guys are gonna be able to get really, really cool pictures because they're doing it by hand and doing it manually. Like this is an awesome photo right here. And it's just more interesting than just changing the exact photo. So if you wanted to implement this on your own store and have some really custom drawings, you can definitely charge a premium for it. But where do you get the designers? Well, first place I would go is probably Upwork and find artists on there. I could also look on something like Behance.net. You could also go on Fiverr and try and find some designers there. And you could hire these. This is definitely a more difficult way to scale your business. But again, it's that kind of hard work that you have to do and you have to manage if you want to stand out from the crowd. Some people aren't willing to do that. Some people want more of a lifestyle based business and that's fine. I don't like managing tons and tons of people either, but some people maybe do. And you could go and you could hire a team of artists to go ahead and draw these for you. 
And that's going to set you apart from the crowd who aren't willing to go out there and do that. And that's how this store is, you know, winning in this kind of like micro niche of really interesting custom drawing and they're able to charge a premium for these if we take a look if we just go for one pet digital so we're not even sending a product out at this point and just a one color background so we're really just drawing the one single dog or one single human whatever it is that costs $60. And for example, you probably get someone to do these type of drawings here over in Fiverr. There's a pretty interesting one here for like $18.59. So about $25 or so. So you've got a $35 margin right there. Again, obviously, if you're working on a deal basis with some of these artists, you could definitely go out there and negotiate some better rates. And again, I just don't think like 776 reviews, the amount of traffic this store is getting per day. I don't think you can draw you know, how many of these can you draw on a day? Maybe three, four, if you're really good, five. This store is definitely doing more than five orders per day. Whenever we jump in and throw these now on a canvas, you're now talking at a minimum $109, whereas other stores would sell this size of canvas maybe for $60 or $70. This one charges a premium because you got that premium artwork. And then again, the most expensive, really big canvas right here costs 106 pounds, which is $149.95. So $150, obviously, artwork's still gonna cost the same price. That doesn't change. You are obviously going to have a little bit uh, of a price in there for your canvases, maybe $20, $25 for this one. And then you've probably got shipping on top of that as well. But this store has stood out from the crowd and done well because of their premium artwork. If we take a look at some of the reviews down here, they've got 766 five-star reviews. And you can see here some of the artwork. It's just really, really good. They've got some really cool backgrounds. This one uh, is pretty awesome. You know, some little memorial of this little pupper right here. Uh, this one, you got the two big dogs running in the background. This one has a human in it as well with the pup. We can load more. There's some, that one's really, really cute. He actually looks a little bit like my dog. Um, and if we scroll down, you know, people absolutely love these. You can see some people holding theirs. Uh, this is a really cute one here. I wish we could see some where it's like before and after, you know, of the image so that we could see yeah, they're definitely not creating these digitally and they're drawing them by hand. I would say a lot of the backgrounds and stuff like that are, you know, obviously just presets that they're dropping them into. They draw once and then they can put lots of different ones in there. But yeah, these look really, really cool. It's definitely a different style. And one of the best ways to stand out in print on demand and personalized print on demand is just by having a different style. If you go and look at some of the biggest stores doing this, you'll see that, you know, obviously you've got like Crown and Paw who are doing the kind of royal portraits and they have that type of design style this one is very cartoony the dogs even look i would say disney like it looks like disney kind of animation so that's kind of their style maybe you want to do like a watercolor style or you want to do that digital photoshop type styles that you see so there's lots of different ways that you can take this on as you can see it does say here on the product page i'm a solo artist and i offer free unlimited revisions until you're 100 happy with the final result so if this girl is a solo artist and she's drawing these by hand, she's managing this store, she's running the Facebook ads that we're going to take a look at in a second, she's an animal. She's an absolute killer. She's doing so well and going crazy right now. Um, you can see here they got the little scarcity timer. But again, I could see internet marketers going out there and coming up with this angle of solo designer. I think it's a good angle. It's It kind of pushes them conversions. And I could see that being the way that this runs. So I want to know from you, do you think this is a single person running this store doing 50,000 visits per month? Or do you think that that is just the angle they've took for marketing and there's a team behind this brand and Irene is maybe just like a face of it? Let me know down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Facebook ads on this store and see what they're running over here. So we can see Petunies.com, uh, Shopify, it's a drop shipping, well, it's a print on demand store. You can see their Alexa rank has been dro dropping nicely from March through to June here, which means the store is getting bigger and bigger. And if we scroll down, we can then see some of their Facebook ads right here. So they're doing even doing weddings. It looks like they're actually running some ads right here in a different language. I believe this is maybe Spanish, but some of their ads get really good engagement. This one over here has 4,000 likes, 1,000 hearts of this little pupper with a stick right here. We've got this guy. He looks really, really cool. And again, it just doesn't look to me like this is done in Photoshop because of the, like, the definition here and around the mouth. That would be hard to do, I believe, just in a Photoshop conversion. This one right here, we've got these little guys who are clearly standing in a different position in the photo out on the porch there. They look really, really cool. 
If we scroll over, let's see if there's any other really big ones. So some of them are doing well and it really doesn't seem to be like a set formula that works well. Some of them just kind of pop off. This one right here obviously did 7,000 likes and to me it doesn't look much different than this one right here. To me it didn't look hugely different than this one over here but it did just massively better. Let's go through to number three. You can see obviously they're using the people opening them, opening the presents. And when you're doing personalized print on demand, that's a really good ad to run. Uh, it did kind of okay here, 757 likes, 1000 on this one. I'm not going to go through all of these ads, but you can see the, the strategy they're using. It's before and after off the images uh, and it looks really, really good. This one, 14,000 likes, 12,000 likes right here absolutely crushing it so last but not least let's take a look at some of the traffic stats over on similar web we can see in here that it's getting again about 50,000 visitors on average per month or so and if we scroll down we can see 25 percent of that is direct which is interesting we got 21 percent from search and if we look at that that is split 75 or 72 percent organic 27.5 percent they're actually getting some decent traffic here from just draw your pet as a cartoon so obviously that's a really good search term for this store. So they're ranking for that and getting some nice organic traffic off it. Right here, they're ranking for some uh, pad traffic, pad keywords, cartoon my cat, cartoon your dog. Obviously, fairly self-explanatory there for this store. And social traffic is about 47%, and that is essentially all Facebook traffic. They actually have a decent Instagram following, I believe about 12,000 followers on Instagram. So I don't see Instagram converting that well for that many stores there's a few stores that are definitely outliers but it's not somewhere i would focus my time obviously you can focus on instagram ads through the facebook platform but specifically growing up your instagram page or putting a lot of effort into it i don't know if it's worth a massive amount of time unless you're running like influencer strategies and stuff like that i never see many stores that are like crushing it on Instagram or bringing massive traffic from Instagram. This 25% direct could potentially be influencer marketing or people sending you know, direct links out or just people sharing it with their friends on comments on Facebook and all of that fun stuff. So that's essentially the store. Last but not least, let's go ahead and take a look at how much we think they're roughly making per month. Again, this is just an estimate, fun thing to do to see roughly some idea of numbers. Let's fire up our little calculator app right here. So let's go for 50,000 viewers per month or visits per month. Let's times that by 0.025 for 2.5% conversion rate. Let's see what that gives us, 1,250. And obviously the digital one was $60. The next one up cost uh, $109. So let's do something in between them too. So I'd say in around $90 average order value, you've probably got your shipping and stuff to consider as well. So let's times that by 90 and we get $112,500 that this store is making per month. Again, that is just an estimate, but it's a six figure per month store, definitely a six figure per year store right here. Uh, and I don't know, let me know again down below. Do you think that it's ran by one single person? It could potentially be. And if it is, I'd say this girl is working some insane hours, pumping out these drawings. Uh, maybe they do have like a really good Photoshop, you know, designer. Maybe she's just really good at Photoshop and can pump these out really quickly. Uh, but just the way that they're done, you know, with the, the, the before and afters looking at some of these, uh, they do look like they have been drawn by hand. Um, so yeah. I thought it was really, really cool store. Let me know what you think down below in the description. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps the channel out massively. Hit subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next one.